Thank you, Mark, and a big hello from London. Okay, so I really have too much to talk about in such a short segment. It's not that I've been up all night covering the events of the US presidential and related elections, and I'm now feeling a bit punchy. No, it really is because I have so much material, too much material indeed, that I wonder if I can do it justice. So what I'll do is I'll go through quickly the technical patterns of events before last night and then skim through some essential elements in major markets of what has happened as a result of last night and may also continue to happen into the future. So at the end of last week, not only we saw not only the weekly patterns for last week, but also monthly patterns for October and I'll deal with those first. There were monthly key reversals down in October in the FTSE, UK FTSE futures, German Bund futures, and most interesting to me, Chicago soybean meal futures. The reason soybean meal futures were interesting to me was because this longer term bearish monthly pattern for October tied in with a pattern I saw at the very beginning of this year in soybean meal futures. An even longer term annual key reversal down in 2023 in soybean meal futures. We already have had a follow through to this pattern already. Moving on to the weekly patterns for last week and we had weekly key reversals up in the following. US dollar Swiss, Euro against Sterling, US dollar Egyptian pound, one year NDF, and NYMEX Henry Hub Nat Gas Futures. However, this last one was only on the continuous charts and I was and still am quite prepared to discount it completely due to operational factors. We also had a quite long list of weekly key reversals down last week in the markets I cover. For instance, both the NASDAQ Composite and NASDAQ 100 index, in both these cases, they were immediate countering patterns and not substantiated by any other major US based stock view indexes. We also had a weekly key reversal down in the Philex Semiconductor Index. All these three are now subject to even greater patterns that will develop today. Also, we had weekly key reversals down in the Chinese Shinex Composite Index, which has seen a strong reactionary move higher this week. In the currencies, we had a weekly key reversal down in US dollar Macedonian dinar and in the metals in Spot Platinum and in LME Steel Scrap Turkey. Spot Platinum has seen a follow on lower to this weekly pattern this week, whilst LME Turkish Steel Scrap has seen a holding action. In other commodities, we had a weekly key reversal down in London white sugar futures last week, which has seen a good attempt at a follow on lower this week. In European energy futures, both ICE Dutch TTF gas base load futures and EEX German power base month futures had weekly key reversals down last week, but have not seen any follow on lower this week, though they are still hanging around the lows of last week. Finally, we had a weekly key reversal down in Chicago live cattle futures last week, which somewhat similarly has seen a limited attempt lower this week. I'll now deal with the technical events of last night and their impact on some of the major markets. In Euro dollar, so far today, we have an apparent possible massive immediate countering daily key reversal down. We are set up for a possible weekly key reversal down this week as well. Also a possibly daily, possible daily bearish engulfing pattern today, if only just on this latter one. We close tonight below 108.77, then today will be an immediate countering daily key reversal down. And if we close on Friday below 107.93, then we will have a weekly key reversal down. The next support here is the April 2020 lower 107 and a quarter. But that's been tested and we're now looking at the 2020 low which is down in the 106.36 area. 
In sterling against the US dollar, so far today we have an apparent possible massive immediate countering daily key reversal down today, as well as a possible daily bearish engulfing pattern today, if only just on this latter one. If we close tonight below 129.57, then today we'll be an immediate countering daily key reversal down. We're also just about set up for this week to be a weekly key reversal down as well, though only just. However, we close on Friday here below 129.26, then we'll be on. The next support is the November 2020 low at 128.52, and it is being heavily tested right now. In US dollar against the Japanese yen, so far today we have an apparent possible large daily key reversal up today. If we close tonight over 152.13, 1.3, then we'd be on. We're also set up this week for a possible weekly key reversal up as well. If we close on Friday over 152.98, then we'd be on. Perhaps the most interesting feature is the clear move up over the bright red middle time of the late December 2023 to early August 2024 shallowly bullish shift pitch walk, currently 152.47. This one had been helping cap the market since late October and prices have moved up into apparent clear territory stretching all the way up to the June 1990 high at 155.78. In US dollar Mexican peso, so far today we have what looks right now like a massive bullish open and close white marabozo and bullish engulfing pattern. Prices have punched up through the dark blue middle time currently at 24176 of the recent mid August to mid September bullish shift pitch rule, as well as the September 2022 high at 205765 to a new high not seen since August 2022 further va validating both the recent dark blue mid-August to mid-September bullish shift pitchfork and the slightly longer term bright red mid-May to mid-July bullish shift pitchfork as the key drivers in moving prices higher since mid-summer. In Brent crude oil futures, so far today we have an apparent reactionary bearish opening black marabozo today right now with the dark blue middle time currently at 75.29 of the breach but still since repaired mid-April to early July bearish shift pitch hook, and even the green short medium moving average currently at 74.80 both capping the market. However prices have only really managed to dip down to the next interesting support of the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 73.73. .73. In spot gold, so far today, an apparent immediate countering bearish engulfing pattern today that punched down through the support of the broken upper time, currently at 27.23, of the old and somewhat discarded late June to mid-July bullish shift pitchfork. That had been the showrunner for the move higher through this past summer. However, prices had stopped short of the next support, the September 2024 high at 26.85, but they have now punched down through that as well. The next support there is now the middle time currently at 26.49. Finally, in the US E-mini S&P futures today, we have an apparent bullish long white marabozo and second bullish white soldier that has significantly exploited the indecision seen at the end of last week and the start of this week based on the July high at 57.21 to, to today make a new all-time high and set up for this week to be a possible weekly key reversal up. Thus, if we were to close on Friday over 58.46, we'd be on. Additionally, prices have punched up once again through the dark blue middle time, currently at 59.26, of the important mid-April to early August bullish Andrews pitchfork. This bullish Andrews pitchfork has been the showrunner for the moves higher since spring this year. As always, I'm happy to answer any direct questions. With anyone who's interested in that, I'll finish this section from London. I hope that you found these comments useful. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.